Slick, smart, as well as beautifully innovative. But just how good is the ViewSonic TD1655? Well, today, we're gonna find out. Whether teaching from home or working on the move, there is nothing worse than trying to accomplish this without the required space on your PC or laptop screen. However, now ViewSonic have offered a solution with the TD1655, a portable full HD as well as touchscreen monitor. So obviously this is the box it has arrived in. So let's open this up by releasing these little flaps on the side. We can pull this up. And the first thing you're greased with is a little microfiber cloth as well as a quick start guide. Let's remove this piece of packaging, pull this out of the bag. And, oh wow, it's a nice little ViewSonic protective cover. And finally, we get to the monitor itself. Let me just move this packaging out of the way. We can unveil this and, well, what do you think of that? That is absolutely stunning, almost sumptuous, if that is a word I can use. And yes, it does have a nice and expensive feel about it too. Now this screen has a 16x9 format. It's obviously full HD in terms of resolution, but the best thing is that it's also an IPS monitor with a great 170 degree viewing angle, both horizontal and vertical. And then as for the glass, well, it's a glossy 6H hard coating anti-fingerprint glass. And then for the remainder of the casing, well, it is entirely metal. But on the back, you have this wonderful fold-away kickstand, which is made completely of aluminium. But that's just a great little feature for adjusting your viewing angle needs. If we take a look at the side now, the first thing you'll notice is just how thin this thing really is. Coming in at just under 15 millimeters at the bottom and 6.1 millimeters at the top. But of course, you can also see the available inputs and outputs. And look at that, we have two USB-C outputs, a HDMI output, as well as a standard 3.5 millimeter headphone port too. Before finally on the back, we come to a single joystick for adjusting all the monitor settings when it's in use. And last but not least are a couple of rubber grips for helping to keep the monitor nice and secure. But does this thing have speakers, I hear you ask? And the good news is, yes, it does. Because if I just pull this up like so, you'll notice two speaker vents. And that is, of course, for the housed dual 0.8 watt internal speakers. So that's just a quick look at the monitor itself, and I think it's a very nice, wonderful looking piece of equipment. But for now, let's just place this to one side so we can then quickly check out what else we get in the box. Well, apart from the pre-mentioned protective cover and of course monitor itself, we also get a HDMI to micro HDMI cable, a USB Type-C to USB Type-A cable, a right-angled USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable, a 60 watt power block, two universal power block adapters, and last but not least, a very nice looking metallic ViewSonic pen with a spare additional nib thrown in there too. So as you can see, with everything that comes in the box, what ViewSonic have tried to do is to cover all consumers' needs. Because with the various different cables, plus additional power adapter options, you can quite literally have this monitor up and running within a couple of minutes, no matter where you are. But now let's turn this thing on and just see how it looks. Now, I just want to confirm by the way, you can use the TD1655 with just one single cable attached to it for both power as well as audio and visual. However, because my PC is slightly older and does not have a USB Type-C interface, I will be using both the supplied micro HDMI cable for picture and sound and the USB Type-C to USB Type-A lead for power. So in goes the micro HDMI and now of course the USB-C to USB type A power cable. So do I have to switch this on? Oh, no, obviously not. It is loading up automatically. And oh wow, okay, yeah. Take a look at that image. I know it's not the most exciting of things. It's quite simply just a desktop background, but that is coming through very crisp, very sharp. Yeah, that is really nice. 
Okay, so first things first from what I've noticed so far, just from switching this thing on, of course, is that the display looks absolutely wonderful. I mean, even just the simple blues coming through on this desktop wallpaper look absolutely fantastic. Now, of course, along the sides and the top, you will also notice a bit of a bezel, but look how small that thing is. I mean, it's practically minute, so definitely not going to be an issue. But the main thing I am dying to try out is, of course, the responsiveness of this touchscreen display. Now, the TD1655 actually has a 10-point multi-touch system, so I've got a few experiments lined up for us to play around with. So let's kick things off by opening up this photo folder. And well, there you go. Very quick, very responsive indeed. So let's try that again by double tapping the first photo and once more, very quick, very responsive. And now there I am displayed on the screen. But the reason I've actually chosen this photo, by the way, is not because I'm in it, but because of the various colors, both in the foreground as well as background. So we'll start off with the background by zooming in there and you can now make out that it is a red brick wall behind me. And then we can scroll down to this very deep blue on my top but my favorite part is this luxurious green in the glass that I'm holding which was actually a concoction of liquids prepared for me by my six-year-old son but in terms of the ease of use for zooming in and out scrolling around the picture as well as the clarity of the photograph itself as you can see it's pretty remarkable but now let's move on to the next photo by quickly swiping across and as you can clearly see it's a picture of some leaves not taken by myself but look at the contrast between the darks in the top and the corner and then you've got this wonderful bright green on the leaves too now this display has a dynamic contrast ratio of 50 million to one and a static contrast ratio of 800 to one but you can quite clearly see in this photograph alone that the dark points are incredibly dark and of course the light points are incredibly bright but we'll close this down now and we're going to get rid of that window as well and we're going to try a bit of microsoft word to see how well typing is in terms of this responsive screen so i'll double tap on that where 2007 will load up let's try a random bit of typing then so there is the word qwerty i'm going to start a new line and we'll put hello and then of course the opposite which will be goodbye <laughs> there you go in terms of simplicity that is quite literally how simple it is to type on this monitor. But what about when it comes to drawing by just using the screen's touch interface? So let's close this down. We're gonna shrink that down. I'm gonna open up Microsoft Paint. So we'll try and draw a simple face. So of course we need uh, two eyes and there's them. Of course we need some pupils as well. And then we're gonna give him a red nose. There we go. And how about an orange smile? There's that. And as for the head, well, he's going to be blue, I think. Yes, we'll go for a nice <laughs> blue head. So no comments on how bad my drawing is, but in terms of using your fingers to do the drawing with on a personal computer monitor, as you can see, it is easily done. But I was going quite slow there, so it'll be interesting to see what happens if I move very quickly across the screen. So I'm going to do a new one here, and we'll just go as quickly as we can. And, oh wow, okay, I really wasn't expecting that to keep up, but as you saw, I really am going quite fast there. And if I just do four fingers, it even recognizes that. I've got to try that again, even if I go super fast. Look at it, it even keeps up with that too. And last but not least in this quick demonstration, let's throw on some video footage to see how well that looks. So I'll double tap my file and here we go. And like I thought, straight away, you can easily see that when viewing video, overall, it's just a very smooth experience. But look at the colors coming through. You've got the clarity again, plus with the added bonus that it is a touchscreen monitor. So if you wanted to quickly skip a scene with a simple touch, you can easily do that. Now, of course, that was just a very, very quick demonstration of this monitor in action, but I've got to admit, so far, it is doing pretty well. However, now I need to go away and test it out thoroughly and truly push it to its limits. But then I shall come back and relay to you all just how good the ViewSonic TD1655 really is. 
So I've been trying out this portable monitor for some considerable time now. And of course, the big question is, how have I found it? Well, let's start right at the beginning with its overall design and build. Now, I've reviewed a few ViewSonic products on this channel, and it appears they really do put a lot of time and effort into providing not only a premium finish, but also a very consumer-friendly device. And once more, with the TD1655, this is no exception. Everything about it does feel first class, from its sharp and distinctive screen to its all-metal exterior. The main benefits of this monitor though, apart from it being fairly lightweight, coming in at just under a kilo, is the fact that you can power it from not only your PC, but also your laptop, power bank, or yes, even your phone, providing they have a USB Type-C interface. But it doesn't end there either, because if your phone or laptop suddenly requires power, then you can use the supplied power brick to not only keep the monitor on, but also power or even charge your connected device as well. The benefits continue with the fold-away adjustable kickstand at the back, allowing you to find your perfect viewing angle up to a maximum of 60 degrees. Plus the option, if your work requires it, to have the monitor in either landscape or portrait mode too. It works with most operating systems, including Windows, Linux, Android, and of course, Mac OS, and is quite literally a plug in and play device. Although please note, Mac users will need to follow a few additional steps to download and install a free driver. And for portable device connectivity, iPads and iPhones currently do not support the touchscreen interface, and Android users will need to ensure their device supports DisplayPort 1.2 alternative mode. When it comes to the screen itself, it is adequate for your viewing needs, whether it be a work-related project or quite simply unwinding at the end of the day. And I do like how ViewSonic have chosen an IPS panel instead of the standard LED for far greater viewing angles, which is especially handy if you have more than one individual watching the screen. And for those of you wondering about the ever-faithful light bleed, well, I did find some, but it was only when viewing something dark in a low-light environment. So when it comes to completing general tasks, such as email or web browsing, this was obviously not a problem. I do have one minor criticism I would like to mention, and that is the glossy screen. Now, I would have preferred a matte finish, as bright lights are easily picked up in the display's reflection, and fingerprints can also be noticed too. Of course, with a simple adjustment or wipe down, then both these problems can be easily eliminated. And in its defense, photos, documents, and even videos are still a joy to watch on this readily accessible screen. When it comes to the onboard speakers, they are definitely a bonus. Now, they are nothing to write home about, being only 0.8 watts each, but I'd rather have them and not need them than not have them at all. And considering most portal monitors come without them, the TD1655 is already a step up from other premium brands. But how did I find the quality of the touch interface? Well, personally, this is not an option I would normally go for, but I must admit it is a delight to use. For me, only having the one mouse, it was indeed a time saver for moving around my second PC setup. Not forgetting the included all metal stylus too, which allows you to draw, design, or even sign documents to your heart's content. And finally, let's talk about the price. Well, coming in at just under £300, I do think for a well-designed, portable touchscreen as well as durable monitor, it is well worth it. But for those of you who only require the portability without the touchscreen interface, then you can always go for the slightly cheaper ViewSonic VG1655. For me, however, I would definitely stick with the 10-point multi-touch feature, as not only is it always a great, quick and easy option to have, but also... I think it looks pretty damn cool as well. So overall, this monitor may not be essential for everyone, but I would say for the on-the-go or currently working at home user, its ease of use as well as performance does provide peace of mind, as well as offering up to an additional 16 inches of screen space with touch control convenience. And for those features alone, plus the many more that this lightweight monitor comes with as standard, I would certainly say that the ViewSonic TD1655 is most definitely a desirable piece of kit. 
Now, as usual, before I go, don't forget to tell me your thoughts on this portable monitor in the comment section beneath this video. And if you did like this video and you like tech, then please show your appreciation by giving this video a fantastic thumbs up. Don't forget to share it. And most importantly, hit me up on that classic subscribe button. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. And I'll hopefully see you at some point very soon. Thank you.